I'm Judith Wong from the Environmental Health Institute of the National Environment Agency. With me are my colleagues Dr. Zafir Nasir and Mr. Satish Arivalan. We are carrying out monitoring wastewaters for COVID-19 virus. So monitoring wastewaters for the virus to understand the COVID-19 situation in the community being sampled. So we know that infected individuals shed the virus in their stool, whether or not they are symptomatic or they are mild symptoms. And also, wastewaters, apart from receiving the stools, also receives respiratory discharges such as sputum, as well as nasal aspirates when they are released into the sewer system. So when we have monitored wastewaters at the water reclamation plants, we detected virus signals just about the time when the infections in the worker dormitories were reported. The process involves everything from field sampling until the laboratory testing. And at the field over here, the first step involves identifying suitable manholes for sample collection. The manholes should receive wastewaters from the dormitories and they should be located at an accessible site where it is not on a main road and away, generally away from the public. So thereafter, we will open the manholes of interest, check that it's of an appropriate depth, and then deploy sampling tubing, which will allow us to draw samples for collection. So after the sampling tubing is deployed, this tubing will then be connected to an equipment, what we know as an auto sampler, for sample collection. We will then program the auto sampler and this will involve some calibration checks to make sure that the sampler is working and to program it according to the sampling strategy. We will then close the sampler and the sampler is ready to do the sample collection for us. After the sampling program, we will then come back to uh, retrieve the samples from the auto sampler where we will transfer the samples into sampling bottles for transport to the laboratory. In the laboratory, the samples will then be processed using a virus concentration method and using a sensitive molecular assay for detection of the virus. So this effort for sampling wastewaters at the worker dormitories has helped to support the national effort in infection control and prevention at the worker dormitories.